right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought... An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger deals. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. it somehow. I swear my life on it. What do you have in mind? I don't know, but I will find a way. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Chances are we won't find anything but even more darkspawn and rubble. Maybe bones? Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. See what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyrium? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of Lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartrand. An idol made out of pure Lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. 
You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartrand! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? It's not just the idol. The location of this tag alone is worth a fortune, and I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Ooh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. I'm sorry, mother, and I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here.
not see these creatures harmed without need. I'd say being attacked on sight gives us plenty of need. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. They eat the lyrium. Sounds like a healthy diet. I am not as they are. I am a visitor. It seems mostly interested in their hunger. It's a demon come to feed. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Hmm. So what do you think? I'm not becoming that thing's next meal. Most unwise. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see if there's something that can help get us out of here. A key. The kind that opens doors, I hope. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go... Oh! Mm. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. Sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home and tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. What's going on? Please don't do anything. Mistress Bethany is being taken to the Circle of Magi in the Gallows. A little tour is fine, but this better not be permanent. Of course it's permanent. It had to happen eventually, didn't it? Consider yourselves fortunate. Her cooperation allows us to spare you the punishment for harboring a dangerous mage. This once. Oh, Bethany. What will happen to you? Don't worry, Mother. I'll be fine. Look after her, big brother. <laughs> 
So the champion's sister was in the circle? Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Driven from their home, a sister taken against her will, and the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. Bethany was in the circle now. There was nothing we could do for her. Poor girl. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sir Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh... You have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. 
Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself, built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Maker. What a mess. <laughs>